Welcome to the first 2014 edition of EMU Gymnastics Weekly here on Eagle All Access. I'm Adam Kuffner, joined as head coach Steve Woltz. And coach, thanks again for joining us. And it's another season, a new season. After all the preparation, I'm sure you're getting excited for the season to finally get underway. You're welcome. I'll tell you what, we are so excited to get it underway. It's been a lot of practice all through the fall, and they're ready to get going. And you lost four seniors to graduation last year. And how have the captains st stepping up for them this year and also the other seniors fill the roles in terms of leadership? Well, Ashley and Polly are doing a great job. Uh, they're, they're our new captains this year, and uh, I think they bring a lot to the table. But, uh, you know, all the other kids have stepped up and are doing a good job. And, you know, we're, we've got some holes to fill, but I think we're more than there with that. And we've got some kids that are really stepping up, and we're really deep this year, and we're you know, we feel like we're going to be pretty good. And speaking of filling those holes, you have six incoming freshmen. How have they adapted to the transition going from club gymnastics to playing at the collegiate level? They're doing a good job, but we're soon to find out here. Uh, you know, they get to kick it off this week. You know, we've, we've got a very veteran team, so hopefully they're going to be getting their feet wet slowly uh, and coming in. But we've got a lot of talent in the freshmen, and yes. we're excited about them. And speaking of the veterans returning, you return all MAC honorees, Anna Ouellette and Khadija Hudson. So with them returning, as well as the freshmen, what are your expectations for the season? Well, Anna and Deja are going to lead us on you know at least three events each. You know, they, they both have done a phenomenal job last year. We expect that to continue. That's the good thing about this year's team is we have so many upperclassmen. We have a good idea of how well they're going to compete out of the gate. You know, we're seeing it in practice. We saw it all last year. You know, so you can pretty well predict. Uh, how we're going to do. Now we just got to see if we've improved as much as we think we have. And obviously the biggest meet of the year is the conference championship and this year EMU will be hosting that. What does that mean to your program to be able to be a host and have it right on your home floor and kind of have a home field advantage a little bit? Well it means a lot. And the last time we hosted it we won it. So you know we're excited about that. It's good to be in your own gym. It's good to be on your campus where your people can come. It energizes your kids. You know so we're, we're very excited about the opportunity of having it here. You know plus we get to practice in the competition venue a little more than you do when, when you go away. So I mean there's, there's a lot of benefits to having it here. And before we get to that you have the season opening meet this week, a quad meet at Kent State facing Kent State, George Washington, and Rutgers, teams that all won this past week. And so with that, them off to such a great start to their season and you guys opening up the season, what are your thoughts heading into the meet? I'll tell you what, I think all three of them had their best ever starts. Uh, all three of them scored very high this weekend. You know, for us, you know, this isn't a sport that you can control how they do. So we have to control what we do. And for us, we want to eclipse what we started with last year, which was 194 and a half. And last year, we started out really, really hot and then had a couple injuries and it slowed us down. This year, we want to start better than that. Uh, we've been talking a lot with the kids of eclipsing, eclipsing the 195 barrier. If we can get so that we're doing that and doing that regularly, that's going to put us in the running to win this thing this year. You know, so what we need to do is take care of business. We've worked real hard on getting the kids educated that our success begins at 9-7. So if every one of those kids is putting up a 9-7, we're going to be on the verge of being successful every time we go out. And we certainly hope to see those highest scores. Coach, thanks for joining us. Good luck in your season opening meet at Kent State. Thank you, Adam.